Now, another little bonus tip that might help you, it isn't, doesn't really apply to this thumbnail specifically because I've kind of spaced it out correctly, um, you know, is that you can drag layers around to give them precedent on your timeline. If, for example, you want to put something directly in front of the other, right, then you just want to simply export your picture when you're done, right? But this is the timeline to recap over here. So, for example, like let's say I had something in the background over here and I wanted to, you know, maybe put myself... Uh, you know, over here in the corner or like down here, you know, right on the edge, I wouldn't. But let, just for example, right? If I wanted to drag myself and add precedent, then I could literally drag layer one, which is me when I'm selected, in front of the text because obviously the top of the timeline takes precedent, right? So if I drag myself in front of that, then obviously I'm going to be in front of the text and vice versa, right? If I drag myself below made simple right here, then obviously I'm in front of the text, but not in front of the text's background, okay? So you can use that to your advantage. Obviously, I don't really want to do that. I'm going to drag this all the way down and move myself back over here, like right about here, because I think that that looks good. But that's just another tool that you can use. Always remember that you can drag, you know, your layers or whatever's over here in your timeline. This is just where it kind of collects all your different, you know, layers and different things that you have in your photo. You can move them around so that they take precedent. Remember, top is in the front and bottom is in the back, okay? And then you wanna simply export slash save your photo, right? So you're gonna click file, you're gonna save your photo. And what I always like to do, another little bonus tip is I'll save it as a J JPEG. Uh, and, and sometimes I'll save it as a PNG, although a PNG file uh, can be a little bit more uh, space on your drive. So keep that in mind. So let's just save it as a JPEG right now. But another little bonus tip that I like to kind of, you know, suggest to people is always save it as keywords, right? Now, this isn't going to re relatively matter a lot on most things, but if you're on like a course platform or if you're on like a search engine like YouTube, right? I could save this as like thumbnail picture, right? Or I could save this as, you know, travel photography made simple for new, uh, you know, photographers, thumbnail for, you know, something else, right? And because I'm saving it as that, it's just going to give me a little bump compared to other videos that aren't doing this in their actual, you know, what their actual metadata is saved for their thumbnail. So it's just like a tip to, you know, keep that in mind. And then you're simply going to hit save. And that little tip is literally going to take you about five extra seconds to type something out, but it could bring you a lot of extra evergreen traffic over the long term, okay? So hit okay, and then you'll be able to see your picture and the final product in your actual downloads, right? So if we click this, this is what the final product of our thumbnail looks like, okay? Now, this clearly right here, because it was just kind of going through a quick example, and I took a bunch, you know, just as an example for this course, isn't the most, you know, like the thumbnail's great, the the uh, or the background of the thumbnail's great, the text is great, but this isn't like the most focused picture of me because I was taking it quickly. Obviously, you're going to want to make, you know, spend a little bit more time. I'm just trying to give you an example of how you could go about doing that. But that's pretty much how you're going to do it super, super quickly. It's a simple four-step process that you can do literally, you know, you, you can replicate it over and over again, but you can do this literally in like a minute or two once you get good at it.